In this video, we'll look at how to make a line of best fit using Microsoft Excel. So I've entered my X values here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here are my Y values, 15, 17, 21, 26, and 33. The first thing we want to do is make a scatter plot. So we highlight our data, and we go to Insert. And then when we insert, there's this Charts space here where there is the option for Scatter. That's what we want, so we click on Scatter. And we choose the first option for a regular scatter plot, and the scatter plot appears. Now to make our line of best fit, we click on our points, and then right click on the points. When it says add trend line, that's a line of best fit or a regression. It gives us a bunch of options, but this is a video about line of best fit, so we'll leave it as linear. But we'll make sure at the bottom here to click on display equation on the chart, and display the R squared value on the chart. When you've done that, click close, and there's your line of best fit and its equation. You can click on the equation until the box appears, and move the box over so it's easier to see. Our line of best fit is visibly drawn, and the equation is y equals 4.5x plus 8.9. The R squared value is 0 0.958. We could easily get the correlation, co correlation coefficient by square rooting that value. And that's how you do it. We've made a line of best fit using Excel by first creating a scatter plot. Then we added the line of best fit trend line. And once we did that, we made sure we were, as we were doing that, that we selected show the equation and show the R squared value. And you're done.